Good morning, everybody. Here we are Friday morning. We're going to wrap our week up. <coughs> Excuse me. With a dose of God's word, and hopefully it'll get our wheels a turning, and uh, get uh, get in the right, get in step. It is with uh, with God and His word. It, hey, th this morning I want to look at a, a passage, just one verse, uh, because there's a statement that Jesus makes in this uh, one verse that should really get our wheels a turn and think about what he's really saying here in john chapter 8 and in verse 51 this is a fascinating just simple statement that jesus uh, makes but it is very profound he says most assuredly i say to you if anyone keeps my word he shall never see death now how many times, maybe you yourself, just kind of read th reading through John, you get there and, and you know, you just read, oh, okay, all right, I got to keep your word, all right, I'll, I'll never see it. And he's talking about spiritual death, of course. All right, now, here's verse, here's something very interesting. If I, what happens if I don't keep his word? What if I, what happens if I don't keep what Jesus says? What happens if I don't do what Jesus said? Well, probably most people say, well, you're, you're not going to go to heaven, okay? Well, let's think about this. Let's think about this concept in, in mainstream Christianity nowadays. Uh, so many people say, you know, all you got to do is just believe and you know, we're saved by grace through faith, Ephesians 2, verses 5 and 8, John 3, 16, you know, and all of these times, maybe what Paul said, Romans 10, verses 9 and 10, you know, with the heart one believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And, you know, those types of passages. You know, maybe the jailer in, in Acts, the 16th chapter, uh, was about verse 30, verse 31. Um, he said, what must I do to be saved? Paul said, well, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your household. Say, oh, see, that's all you got to do is believe. But let's, let's go back and think about this statement that Jesus makes here. He said, I say, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Now, we must come to an understanding and a clarity of what this means. What does that mean? If anyone keeps my word, what does that mean? I believe it just means just as simple as what it says. If Jesus said something, then I must keep that. I must obey it. I must submit to it. I must believe it. I believe it's just no more complicated than that. And if I will do that, or whoever will do that, he shall never taste death. That's the second death. That spiritual death, that hellfire uh, death that he uh, that he is speaking of here. So now let's consider this. Jesus said, "If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death." Now let's think about this one Bible topic, this one Bible subject. Make some application to this. If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. What about baptism? What about baptism? You know, so many, it is really the uh, voice of the majority um, that uh, people say, well, no, you don't need to be baptized in order to be saved. Baptism has absolutely nothing to do. I would believe that if Jesus hadn't said it and if the apostles hadn't said otherwise. Now, remember what Jesus said here. If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Jesus said in Mark 16, and in verse 16, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Well, folks will say, oh, well, baptism is just, it's just a commandment. It's just, you know, it, it's not necessary, but it's probably something that you should do if you have the opportunity. You know, but, but it doesn't have anything to do with salvation. Well, how do we reconcile that here with John 8 and in verse 51? Can I escape? eternal life if I do not keep Jesus' word? Mark 16, 16. Because Jesus said, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. That's what he said. Well, what if I don't keep that? What if I say, well, I don't have to be baptized, even though Jesus said I have to, and for the reason why. What if I don't keep that word? Can I still be saved? Can I still not see eternal death? Remember what Jesus said, John 8, verse 51. I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, and Mark 16, 16 is Jesus' word, Jesus himself said it. 
not an angel, not an apostle, but even still, if they did say it, it would still be true because it would be from God. But Jesus said it. If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. So the, so the, the alternative, the flip side of that, is if I don't keep what the, the word that Jesus said in Mark 16, 16, can I still be saved? If one has an honest heart, they will say no. Why? Because John 8 and in verse 51 says, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. He didn't say parts of my word. He didn't say some of my word. He said my word. That's all inclusive. Whatever Jesus said, if it is a requirement, if it is a standard, I have to keep that. I have to do that in order to not see death you see so very interesting question isn't it i know that goes against what so many in the religious world believe and what they teach but my friend i don't know about you but jesus is going to be the one judging us not not our preacher not mom and daddy not grandma or grandpa not 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 our friend the pastor it's jesus it's his word that we must keep in order to not see eternal death. So, uh, hey, man, I hope that gets your wheels a turning. And if we can help you through all that process, we'd love to help you out. If you got questions along these lines, shoot us a message. We'd be happy to sit down with you and study it out, the things that Jesus said. So there's your dose of God's Word, and I hope it'll do you some good. And Lord willing, we'll be back Monday with another dose of God's Word to get our day started off right. Y'all have a great day.